Hey guys, Dan Buchan here, and real quick before we jump into the Shopify course, I just want to talk a little bit about myself, right? I want to introduce myself. So for those of you who don't know me that well, again, my name is Dan Buchan. I'm a Shopify expert. I've been using the platform for about two and a half years now, and over that time, I've actually accumulated the ability to the ability to make one of my stores bring me in a 10k profit a month and again I can show you guys proof of this all I want but that's not gonna change anything today I'm here to change lives and especially yours because we are gonna go in and we're gonna dive right into Shopify and actually how to make 10k a month so again guys I just want to thank you so much for joining me and without further ado let's jump right into this course so as you can see right now I have my dashboard pulled up now if you go on shopify.com you fill you put in your email you fill in what they ask of you and you go through the uh, information you will land on the same exact dashboard and remember you don't need a credit card you don't need um, any really identifying information other than your name and email to actually see the dashboard that I'm seeing so again all you need to do is uh, visit the link below in the in the uh, video comments or actually not in the video comments in the video description visit that link get Shopify as well as a 21 day trial and 10% off any monthly package you choose so again that's my personal um, that's my personal gift to you guys for just checking out this course right away again I want you to visit the link below I want you to um, to actually go ahead and reserve your spot and get uh, 10% off any monthly Shopify plan and a 21 day extended trial remember Shopify gives you a 14 day trial I'm offering you a, four, a 21 day trial so you have seven more days just to play around and get and familiarize yourself with the software so again without further ado let's actually jump into the dashboard and let's see the first step that we should do when starting a new Shopify store so Again, whenever I start a new Shopify store, I follow a very, very strict uh, list that kind of um, that kind of directs me into what steps I should take first. And the first steps I always take in any new store is setting up the policies. Now, remember, the whole thing about selling online is that you need to seem trustworthy to your customers. If you don't seem trustworthy to your customers, they'll never buy from your website. They'll think it's a scam. They think they'll think it's unlegit. So again, one of the first things I do when setting up my Shopify store is establishing trust right off the bat. And let me show you exactly how I do that. So I'm going to come over here and I come to this left dashboard area. I'm going to press settings and we're going to go into checkout. So real quick, let's go into checkout and down here you'll see that we have our terms of service and usually you know you'll see it blank but all you gotta do is press generate sample refund policy and it generates one for you so again I did the same thing you know with this and the same exact thing with terms of service so now that we have our options um, now that we have our options generated what's the next step so let me show you real quick so the next step would be to go over into online store and let's just wait for this to load real quick actually let's go ahead and open that in a new tab so we'll go ahead we'll go into online store and we'll go into pages so let's go into pages let's go ahead and add a page now remember again this is the first thing that we're doing so the first one we have is our let's see let's see it is our refund policy so let's go ahead and type refund policy Let's, and let's just grab this and paste that right in there now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this returns because again this is going to go ahead and be the title of the page and it's going to show up as a header on the page so it's going to be really really um, kind of ugly and uh, not important if we have refund policy and then right under it returns and then right under it our policy last 30 days whatever so um, again the, this refund policy kind of speaks for the whole thing so let's go ahead let's save that and let's create a new page so now we'll go ahead we'll create another page and we'll do the literally the same exact thing we'll copy the privacy policy come over here call this page privacy policy um, and then let's go ahead and I don't know what's going on here let's try to reload this okay cool so uh, again we'll do uh, privacy policy 
and let's go ahead and paste that in there and again what we'll do is we'll just delete this privacy policy so it doesn't state it twice and then the next step is again adding another page so let's go ahead and do the same exact thing with drum roll please terms of service awesome so we'll go ahead and we'll do the same exact thing we'll call this terms of service and let's see and then we'll come over here and we'll just paste that right in there so we went ahead and we got our terms of service awesome so this is our overview so let's go ahead and save that now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually jump right into navigation and from navigation we'll go ahead and we'll edit the footer menu so let's come right here press the edit menu and let's go ahead and let's add a menu item so now this will be our privacy policy let's go ahead and add another one this will be our terms of service whoops and we'll go ahead and add another and this will be our refund policy and remember you want to have all three of these because you want to build trust with your customers you don't want them looking around your website you know for on a, a page that doesn't exist or them looking around your website and coming across something extremely unprofessional so again the best and easiest way to do this is the way that I'm doing it right now and if you're just following along then great that's exactly what you should be doing so let's go ahead let's save this menu so now we have our footer menu but that's not enough what we need also is our main menu right we don't want just home and catalog in our main menu so what we're gonna do then is we're actually gonna go ahead into uh, online store again in navigation well we were actually there already I don't know why I even left but again main menu so let's go ahead and delete catalog let's go ahead add menu item and let's go ahead and call this one shop um, or we'll call this sale items we'll add one we'll add another one we'll call it um, new items or hmm you know what instead what we'll do We'll actually go ahead and we'll create the uh, the product collections first. And for this store, what I wanted to do is I really wanted to make uh, a tea store, right? Tea is very popular, matcha tea, green tea. It's very trending in 2016 coming into 2017. So what I really wanted to do was create a matcha slash green tea um, and not even a tea store, but more of a tea accessory store, right? Because we still want to drop ship. We don't want to be private labeling teas. We want to instead be drop shipping from AliExpress. So again, what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and I'll create a couple collections and we'll just, you know, give them some general names for now until we actually find the, the you know, the exact products. And if need be, we'll change the names at a later time. So again, let's go ahead and let's name this collection. We'll name it um let's see so we have tea strainers right and we will do automatically product title and let's do how about we do contains tea strainer perfect so let's go ahead and save that collection and let's create another collection now this one will be called tea cups and product title is equal or contains tea cup or we can even do tea sets so we can do add another condition product title contains tea set add another condition product title contains tea kettle and again all three of these would have fallen under this condition and we want to set it to any condition so therefore if it fell under this condition it would be automatically added to the collection whereas if I had it checked off under all conditions what would happen is that literally all of these conditions would have to be met in order for a product to be uh, put into this collection so imagine a product being called tea cup tea set tea kettle literally all one product so again we don't want that let's go ahead and save this collection and let's create another one so we'll call this um, <clears throat> tea ceremony um, yeah we'll call it tea C 
ceremony. Mm, looks, like I spelled, looks like I spelled ceremony wrong. Forgot that N. Let's go ahead again. Automatically, or let's let's go ahead and manually select products this time. So then we'll go ahead and we'll save the collection. And by manually selecting products, again, it lets you literally add products manually, which is a lot better option for people who are uh, new and just starting out with Shopify and something that I recommend you to do as well. Um, and again, that's just creating your collections manually. It's uh, a little bit easier and a little bit easier to kind of wrap your head around and understand. So again, now we have three collections created. Let's go in back into our online store and we'll go back into navigation. And right here, let's go ahead and let's actually add those to our menu. So we'll go ahead, we'll add two menu items. This will be, let's see, collection and collection tea ceremony. Actually, let's do tea strainers. So let's go ahead, shop tea strainers. This one will be another collection. And this one will be our tea set. So we'll call this shop tea. Did I do a double space? No, I didn't. Shop tea sets. And last but not least, we'll do a third collection. We'll call this collection um, Tea Ceremony Shop. You know what? Why don't we actually go ahead and call them all Tea Sets Shop or Tea Set Shop? Nah. I like it the, uh, the other way better. So shop tea sets, shop tea strainers, and tea, tea ceremony shop. Perfect. So let's go ahead and create this collection, and it will be tea ceremony. So let's go ahead and save the menu. And real quick, let's just look at our online store, see what we have kind of done so far. So right away, you know, we did um, shop tea strainers, shop tea sets, tea ceremony shop. And again, we set up the collections. We created the navigation for this. And we also created the footer menu. And again, you see we have our privacy policy, our terms of service, and our refund policy. And again, this was in effort to uh, to go ahead and raise trust with our potential customers and with all our traffic and all our site visitors. And again, that should be one of the things that you prioritize when you are creating a new Shopify store. Um, you know, this is pretty much the end of the first video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have found this video useful, if you have liked this video, if you're excited for video two, where I'll be talking about uh, setting up your theme and setting up actually, you know, going in and creating a nice looking Shopify store with all free tools and, uh, and assets, please leave a like and comment below. You know, let me know that you want to see the second video so I'm not at home thinking, oh, no one wants to see my videos, nobody likes me. But I know you guys want to see my videos. So please go ahead, leave me a comment, leave me a like, drop me a message, anything. Just let me know when you want or if you want the second video. So again, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will catch you all later.